Holy guys, I'm really excited. On this episode of Giovanni and Me on Rogers TV, I'm here live at the Kitchener Auditorium. Like, and I'm going to drop the puck the opening game against the the, <clears throat> the Guelph Storm and the Niagara Ice Dogs. Whatever an ice dog is. <clears throat> a little change in plans. Uh, apparently, I will not be dropping the uh, puck. The opening it's not a really important thing anyway they get a guy they don't it's not even a puck they actually use they, they got a little upset they got a confused with the they don't like when you mix up the two hockey teams but anyway you know what we're gonna do we're gonna exclusive interview what not here because they won't let me go back here but exclusive interviews with all the fans here and uh we have a blast it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, the rogers night here with the guelph store nice I'm here with two of the hardest working guys in show business, Robert and Andrew. How are you guys doing? Good, great, I, wonderful. I, We're that's excited. Good. That's good. So uh, you're already here to film the game. This is going to be a good. Who's going to win tonight? What do you think? Guelph Storm, of course. Uh, uh, it's close. We'll see. We'll see. Say, like, oh, this guy. He, he can't. He can't even commit to a freaking game. Are you married? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Ah, the action, the feel, the fans, all the volunteers. Who do we got here? What's your name, sir? Uh, Les Salzer from the Guelph District Shrine Club. The Shriners, huh? You wear this? You get a lot, a lot of chicks with that hat? Oh, oh, oh you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't, I would not. I would not believe it. I would not believe it. What's your prediction for tonight's game? Storm five, Ice Dogs two. I think he's going to be right on the butt. You're here. You're behind the scenes. What is your role here, Blake? What do you do, man? Uh, I help out with the rink guys here at the Slim Center. It's uh, so whatever I can do to help out here. It's all that I can do. So is the ice extra slippery tonight? Uh, we're hoping to make it extra icy for the uh, Niagara sides to fall over the place. Fall out there. Just their sides icy. Yeah. What about our goalie? Is he good? He's fantastic. He's a uh, top goaltender. Top, and I, I saw him stretching. The guy's more flexible than my mortgage payments, this guy. He's unbelievable, huh? He's unbelievable. He's one of the best. Just one of the best? Yes, one of the Just best. one of the best? Yes. Not the best? No. All right. So is this like a dangerous place back here? Is this uh, uh, what, yeah, oh, that what could possibly have? Oh, oh, Joe. All right. What do you think the score is going to be at the end of the game? I think maybe the Storms might win. I, that's my feeling. You got a feeling that the Storm might win it. How am I supposed to bet 100 bucks on a feeling, buddy? Another exclusive interview. I got one of the best players on the Niagara Ice Dogs right here, live on the air. Buddy, uh, what do you think your chances of winning the game? And uh, it's right now it's 0-0, but uh, how do you think it's gonna end? Does your team have a good dental plan? Seven thirty-five left. No score in the hockey game. The Storm out shooting the Ice Dogs four to one in the early going. What's the score right now at the end of the first period? A zero zero. That's fantastic. So we're winning. What do you think the chances are of us uh, winning this game? Um, one. One. I like his odds. Hi, I'm here with Trevor Pryor, the voice of OHL hockey. The big shot, the guy who everybody's more important than me, huh? What do you think of the game so far? Oh, it's a great game. It's always fun seeing the Guelph Storm play Friday nights. Uh, best place to be in the city of Guelph. You know, you got the easiest job on TV. You don't, nobody know, you don't say nothing. You just use that voice like this, and they're going to give it 110%. And it's, they're going to be hard in the corners. It's pretty close. We usually say keep it simple, stick to the systems. Uh, city's great, the fans are great, the veterans help me out. I'm just happy to be here. I want to help the team out any way I can. This guy's a yeah. pro. He's a pro. So you think the the Leafs are going to win a Stanley Cup this year? Mm, yeah. Yeah, you think so, huh? And Santa's going to bring you all of the, all of your presents? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the government's going to balance the budget? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Trump's going to build a wall? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all right, huh? We got greatest fans here, greatest fans here in the OHL. What's your name, buddy? My name's Hayden. Ah, it's fantastic. And are you enjoying the game? Yeah. Yeah, no, the score is one nothing for the Niagara Ice Dogs. But do you think the Guelph Storm is going to win this? They might improve 
Move to the Memorial Cup this year. The Memorial Cup right here. You heard it first, right here on Giovanni and Me. All right, folks, behind the scenes, season ticket holder. This guy knows his hockey. He's a huge fan. He's got the shirt. He's got a big shirt, big heart. Jordan, what do you think of the game so far? It's going good, but I want, I want them to win still. Now, I understand you know a lot about the Guelph Storm, a lot about hockey trivia. We're going to give you a chance to win these two beautiful prizes, courtesy of Rogers TV. Are you ready? Yes. Who is the captain of the Guelph Storm? Is it Captain McFadden? Captain Crunch, Captain Morgan, or Captain Antonio? It's Captain McFadden. You sure? Yes. That's your final answer? Yes. That is correct. Very good, Jordan. But you're it. And we're not finished yet. What is the Guelph Storm's mascot name? Is it Storm Drain, Storm Sewer, or Stormy? It's Stormy. Jordan, it's actually named after most of my relationships. Stormy is correct. You are a winner. Thank you. Say nice. 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 Oh, I can't believe this is happening, folks. It's the uh, Niagara Ice Dogs 3, the Guelph Storm 1. Uh, 30 seconds left in the game. Uh, it's... This doesn't seem right in 2017 to have a loser. I think everyone is a winner, but I guess that's not how it works, folks. Like, like Henry VIII famously said, sometimes you can't get what you want, but if you try sometimes, sometimes you get what you need. <laughs>